What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to Minecraft, where we left off the last time. Where I don't really remember where we were, but um, I believe we were just digging randomly, hoping to find something. So we'll just do that, and hopefully, we're going to find something. Since I don't really think we had anything going, I just think we were, well, just digging, hope, hoping to find something with our awesome diamond pickaxe that I made earlier, obviously. Hmm. I have done, if you haven't seen it, a new series I've got going. Terraria, it's called, I believe I called it Terrania in one of my Minecraft episodes, but it's called Terraria. Um, it's kind of like Minecraft, if you haven't seen it, um, and you like Minecraft, go check it out. Um, I think it's pretty cool. First, I was kind of pessimistic about it, saying it was a ripoff, but I figured, nah, everyone's doing it, so I might as well take a look at it instead of just um, calling it stupid without even trying it. So I went and got it, and it was actually pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And there's some red shit here. I'll take that. Why the hell not? So I went and checked it out, and it was pretty fun. I think it was pretty fun. Just a sec, I have to make sure I... Nope, I actually forgot to do that. Just remember to adjust the volume. So my voice won't be um, over overruled by the in-game sounds and music and whatever. Um, I believe I had that issue in Terraria, but it was the first time I tried recording. So I didn't really know what the setting should be like, so if you watch them, I'll adjust that for the next time. At least I'll try to remember to do so. And there's a lot of redstone right here. I don't even think I've found any of that so far, but we have some here. We have some here. So that's pretty cool. I'm hoping to find something to explore since we I'll just use F3 to see it doesn't even look like anything's nearby just put a torch and I'm Cristiano Ronaldo if you don't know who that is it's a soccer player football soccer whatever you call it and I need to get back up since I have no sticks whatsoever so I can't make any torches and I can't see shit so I guess we're just heading back up then Hopefully it's daytime. I have to make a watch and and or a compass. I don't know what's best. Hopefully I'll be able to make both. And I don't. Wow! I take down quite a distance actually. I need to remember where the hell I'm at. I believe I'm at the. I found a dungeon thingy right o right over here or something like that. Not quite sure. I believe that was what happened. Yeah, there we go. Spiders or whatever it was. Can't come up from here. And I don't know why I have an F3 on. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea actually. Let's see. Hopefully it's daytime. And it is. Cool. Cool. And we can get out without being totally raped. And now I have to think where my house is at. Um, I believe it's in this direction. Um, just kill this pig. Come here, piggy. Ah, oh, my back hurts. Sitting in a bad position with my back. Just had to readjust. So that's cool. Well, my tower is right there, so I wasn't as far away from home as I thought. Wasn't as far away as I thought. I always, when I uh, kill animals or whatever, I always use my hand, hands or whatever. Just not using tools, since I figured, eh, they're gonna die anyways. Why waste tools on something you can kill? Barely handed and won't kill you. Won't even try to kill you. It's different when it's zombies or creepers. Then it's, then obviously I use um, a sword, but. These animals won't hurt me, so why, why uh, use my sword? That's my concept. Might be stupid. Might take some time, but yeah, I figured why the hell not. 
that's just me. That is just me, and there's another cow here. I have no armor, so I could use that. I could use that. Let's see. Here, you stupid cow. Almost just. Damn it. Thank you. Eight. I don't even think I have any um, leather back in the good old chest. It would be great if I can make, like, a leather armor. Um, even though I know I do have some iron, I wouldn't really mind using leather. It's cool. And uh, I don't know why I took those poor sheep's wool, but I did. This pig is hiding. He's a son of a pig. I'm here. I'm here. Thank you. One piece only. Thought I had more. Thought I had more. But that's how it goes. That is how it goes. Oh, there's another one here, you stupid pig. Come on. Come on. If you um, were wondering who the hell Cristiano Ronaldo were, just me saying he's a football player. Well, then he's um, one of the best football players in the world. I would say the best. <laughs> Some people might disagree if you know soccer, but that's up to the individual person itself and see who who he believes is the best. But that's my that's my call. And obviously, I enjoy f watching soccer slash football since I have a football player, and I actually watch and play a lot of soccer. That's my um, favorite sports. If you were wondering about that, but uh, now I know that. Um, Denmark, it's probably the most um, common sport people watch. Also, handball is um, very popular, but. Football is eh, probably without any doubt the biggest sports in the biggest sport thingy in um, Denmark. I have no idea why I took that cactus. Just felt like it. Let's see if I still have my weed farm going on. I haven't checked that for some while. For a while. But anyways, football and handball, soccer, handball. Um, compared to the United States, where it's like American soccer. That's what it's called in Denmark. You probably just call it no American football. You probably just call it football. Denmark it's American football. That's what it's called. So that we don't really have that in Denmark. Uh, we have some, but it's um, not on the highest level. Let me say it like that. Not the most pro American soccer in Denmark. There's um, some. There's some. Um, but not as well as in the United States where well I guess they're the best in the world at that and hockey as well is very very common in the United States we have that in Denmark but it's not actually hockey is not the it's actually quite big in Denmark as well hockey but football and handball if any of you were wondering I don't even know if you have handball you probably do but I don't know if it's that common in the United States. I know soccer is beginning to get is getting more and more uh, common, and um, <sighs> and well seen or whatever you want to call it. It's getting getting more common in the United States as well, since um, one of the factors I believe is um, when David Beckham um, transferred to LA Galaxy. I don't know if that's the biggest club in. Uh, America, I guess it is. I don't know. And since he, after he transferred to them, it's kind of started and um, a huge wave where everybody s suddenly uh, took soccer very closely and started playing soccer and whatever. So that's pretty cool. And I don't know why I have my cocoa beans on me. No idea. There's all this stone in here. I have a lot of crap on me. A lot of crap. I don't know why I have these buckets either. No need for them. No need for them. And there we go. I have quite a lot of gold actually. 23. Gold, gold is kind of rare actually compared to iron, which I only have 8 more of. So, yeah. That was kind of a um, 
history, not a history lesson, but something somewhat of a lesson learning about um, Denmark and their sport thingies, what they like, what we like, I should say. Um, so now I know that, <laughs> if any of you were interested, which I can't see why you should be. You might be, you might have been, you might have been. Some of you may all, might already have known. But anyways, that'll be it for now. Um, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, comment. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. So, when we come back next time, I think we will start building maybe a second floor or maybe a maybe just a new room we'll see how I'll expand my house I figured I'd do that some of you have requested that so we'll see when we come back next time and we'll be back bye